Hello everyone, this is the Volvo EX30 and today I want to show you the software a bit. This has Android Automotive, it has a lot of nice features, it has Google Maps, Spotify, other apps from the Google Play Store, Audible, what's else? YouTube, you can watch YouTube videos and I want to show you how it works and all the settings. I'm gonna go through the whole thing. There are some things that are really hidden away, there are some things missing and it has some things that are really cool. If you need an overview of your monthly cost for EV, if you want to see all of your charging sessions, all of your trips, your average consumption, your AC to DC ratio when you're charging, then Tronity is exactly what you need. You just connect Tronity via the app or the browser to your car. A lot of brands are supported and then you have all access to all of these things. You also can have a 100% tax compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below. The overview first. Down here you have your home button. When you press this a spot, your music and your phone disappears. It's just a map. Then you have a, a button for all the apps that you have and you can get more apps. Then you have your volume where you have minus and plus. You can do that on the steering wheel as well. And then you have adjustment here for other things like Google always does for alarm, for voice control, for navigation and stuff like this. Then we have the two seats and the temperature in the middle. When you press this, then you get seat heating, steering wheel heating on each side, temperature on each side, but you don't get the airflow or anything or AC. This is the next button where then you have your auto mode, manual, climate off, where you want the air, maximum AC, max defroster, rear defroster, recirculate air, eco, AC, and then up here you have your air quality and you have a timers. Timers you can set that at what time it should preheat the car or, or cool and you have start parking comfort. It this when you start that it, it says here climate stays active until battery level is a 20 percent like Tesla um, but when you get out of the car I can show you it then says parking comfort stays on until maximum running time or 20% battery level. And I don't know what the maximum running time is. It doesn't say that. You have other climate settings where window monitoring. So d depending on if you have AC on, it will close the, the window, for example. Auto steering wheel heater and in-car in air, in air quality no notifications. Next are the car settings, which we go into in detail later. And you have the hazards. You have a button for the hazards on the on the on this display, but you have one up here as well. So a real button, even if the screen doesn't work. Then you have your main apps that you use. You don't see, for example, when you use Spotify, you don't see it down here. That's pretty smart. The same with your phone. When it's here, you don't see it. And if I put it down, then I have Spotify in here. I don't have the phone for whatever reason. Then you have your camera, your Google Assist, your boot. When you press this, it says press until boot trunk starts to open, so you have to press and hold. Then it does it. It does it a bit slow. You can stop it in between and you can close it here. You can maximum uh, uh, defog the front and your glove box button because this glove box here for whatever reason needs a button. Up here we have the timed outside temperature, your notifications and oops then Bluetooth uh, and mobile connections where you get to your favorite here. Calm view, this is up here. I'll show you that in the drive video. Wi-Fi dark theme, which is really dark. So even at the brightest mode, maybe when it's uh, uh, really dark outside, it could be something. Your brightness, Bluetooth, your user accounts and get into your options as well. But again, we do that later. Up here, you can see if you are in drive, in reverse or in park. See that the parking brake is engaged, your range, your state of charge. Here again, you see the car. You see, I'm guessing this is a warning message that there is not enough uh, washer fluid in there. And up here uh, is your odometer and the last consumption, last drive that you did. It was 12.4 kilometers. And in the middle you have Google Maps, which is always there. Let's go through some apps. First Spotify. It looks like every other Spotify app. You have all of your normal settings up here. Um, 
it works fine. YouTube the same. With YouTube of course you can only use when you're uh, stationary. You can't use it when you're driving. Also works like normal on the, on the tablet. So if you are in desktop mode, it's not the app uh, mode. Google Play Store, you can install more apps, something for playing, a car fire place, weather channels, plug and uh, share, EV Tesla, game snack, EV map, EV charger, charge point, ways, tune in, uh, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, there's a lot of apps that you can install here. You can have your camera view where you see the 360 degree camera here you can see which camera you want to see so for example this should be the rear and the front the side ones and you can have a three, 360 degree view like this and you have some settings for it that you if you want to choose this and this is your um, park assist so you can see ooh, um, how far is this away it will show you in centimeters you're a hundred centimeters away or something that's done very neatly and you can close it Google Maps has the again the normal settings that you use from Google Maps on your phone but in addition it shows you at with what state of charge you arrive at a destination so if I look at this one here Hofkirchen it tells me right away I will arrive at with 63% and if I drive back I come back with 56% if I drive somewhere far away it will also bring me a little charger in there which is also cool it tells me huh you arrive with minus 63 percent so it selects a charger for me but i can replace that i can click on it and choose a different one and i can see it on the map here where those chargers are and i can select a different one and i just select it and it tells me i, I charge there for 10 minutes and it should be at 14 percent arrival when i click on this i can select if i want to uh, arrive with uh, 20 percent on arrival or something with the charger i can't do that that's just in there and then we have the car settings and you have a, a quick control menu here where you can turn the lane keeping aid off one pedal drive on speed limit warning off this can also be set on the steering wheel if you want to do that uh, driver alert so this is where hey you're not paying attention to the road or you seem to be tired something like this you have your light options here when you click that then you can turn the light from auto into something else rear fog lights adjust the lights then we have the mirror control with the right uh, side of the steering wheel you can then adjust uh, the, the both mirrors and if they should fold if you lock and then we have the ambient light where you can select what you want and it does it with music too it's fine brightness of the ambient light done then we have the wipers with which you can set to low medium and high for the, for an auto otherwise you have here a little control and then you can set it here that's done then the glove box again and my trunk that's your quick control next is car status here you see that everything is okay when is your next service your odometer tire pressure uh, which can be in bar 2.6 bar your user manual software update uh, is there an update no there's not 1.4 was the last one um, and then your trip info this is really cute under here you have a consumption and it's really in detail that's why it looks like this for the last 50 for the last 100 kilometers you have a trip that you can reset yourself and then you have another trip which can be reset either after recharge or after each trip i have it set to recharge it shows me the kilometers with 100 meters which is awesome the kilometers per hour average speed with a comma and what uh, what's then and uh, the minutes that's really nice and then we get to the settings uh, the main settings we go first down here is the typical language date units permissions update and so on blah 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 google privacy profiles in profiles you can switch to different profiles you can rename your profile you connect the key to your profile so when you get with that key here you are automatically in that profile you can enable a lock 
for, for, the, for the whole profile. So it can be a pattern or a pin that you have to do every time you get into the car. Connect it to your app and this doesn't work for me. Charging, in charging you cannot see uh, what power you are charging. You just see your state of charge and how long it takes to get to the charge limit. Charge limit can be set from 50 to 100%. You can limit your charging for AC which is cool and you have scheduled charging where you can say I want to charge between 10 and 6 a.m. for example so it will charge in that window to the state of charge that you as uh, charge limit that you have set. Connectivity is uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi where you can connect devices and everything. Sound where should the sound go to all driver or the rear you have a surround sound and you have an equalizer that you can set yourself or have some presets and then again the volume for everything controls here you have some car modes car wash mode tow mode parking comfort um, oh there's the timer see you can set a timer off or for a maximum of two two hours or three hours that's awesome I like that. That's nice. And you can turn off the car. Then you have your lights and displays, brightness, the rear fog lights. You can see uh, uh, all of light and display options, clean screen. So it will turn off and then you can clean the screen without switching anything. Dark mode, auto. So when it's dark, it will go into dark mode automatically. Uh, headlight adjust, interior lights, uh, neutral ambient color, courtesy light is when you uh, arrive at the car. Reading lights should be those here. They don't do a lot. <laughs> um, and then we get to mirrors that you can adjust here. Rain sensitivity is here. When you go into wipers, what else do we have? Service position, auto rear wiper while reversing. That's nice. Fold uh, when locking. Then we have our locking. Lock rear power windows. So, no, so the, the kids in the back cannot uh, uh, open the windows. Reduced alarm mode, that's always nice. Then uh, we have auto unlock doors when in park. Glove box can be locked with a pin. Proximity lock, unlock all doors when approaching the car. Lock when leaving. This is so when you are uh, go to the car, car will unlock and when you go away it will not, uh, it will lock then again. If you have this off, you have to do it with the key on the door. Welcome light, this is the car where, where light that stays on when you get to the car and the other one was is when you go away. Guidance light, 60 seconds how long it should be unlocked with driver handle all. Doesn't matter what, what driver handle you took, it will unlock, that's nice. Uh, auto close window, so when you have the windows open and you go away and the car locks itself, it will close the windows as well. Well, then we have a, custom, a customizable button. That's the button on the steering wheel here on the left. You can put it to one pedal drive on or off. Speed limit warning on and off or screen view between com view and display, normal display. And the com view is usually it shows you like in a Tesla all the other cars where they are in the road. And when you press com view, it doesn't do that. I have it to the speed limit assist. Um, those were all the controls. Yes. Driving. These are the settings for driving. First we have, do you want to use the speed limiter or your cruise control? And then steering assist is where it steers itself too, but you can turn this on and off on the steering wheel as well. Lane change assist can be on. Um, then how far uh, the distance to the car in front of you, short, medium or long. You cannot adjust this on the steering wheel. It has to be done here. One pedal driving. Then the I have to put it in gear. Eh? Um, now I can turn on the lane change assist. I have steering feel from soft to firm, hill descent uh, where it improves speed control during speed, uh, steep downhill driving, ESC off, performance all wheel drive, prioritize performance over range. You will see this in the driving video. Speed limit warning, lane keeping assist, uh, keeping aid. You can turn it off here and then you have to press off. Then you can see all of your safety assistant. And there's also lane departure warning that you have to turn off as well if this is annoying to you. And the drive alert also. Forward collision warning, medium, 
early or late uh, rear collision warning blind spot information see that in the in the mirror will be a blind spot door opening alert if there's someone coming from behind when you're opening the door and reacts to traffic passing behind the car when reversing rear cross traffic alert and that's it that's the whole infotainment system nothing more to it but that's enough it's really cool if you want to follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below, and here on YouTube there's also channel membership. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye!